Here we have a Dell XPS 15. We're going to open it up and explore the insides. For today's disassembly, you'll need a T5 star shaped screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver. There's six screws to remove the, with the star shaped screwdriver. That's the end for the star shaped screwdriver. You just now we need a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the two middle screws. Now all the screws are removed, we can open the back cover. Remember to open it gently as there's a cable attached to the back cover, which is the battery indicator. Now we have it open, we'll explore the insides. So that's the DVD drive, the, the battery, the hard drive, RAM 1, and there's RAM 2 behind it as well. That's graphic card, CPU, M starter, and wireless card. First, we're going to remove the hard drive cable and we're going to unscrew the hard drive which is there's four screws holding it down I just removed the battery cable as it was blocking the way Now we're going to remove the battery and there's six screws holding the battery down. Screw one, screw two, screw three, four, five and six. We now got to remove the DB drive. There's one screw holding it down. The battery, the BIOS battery is going to be probably in the way, so you probably have to lift it up, move it to the side a bit. And we release the cable holding it to the motherboard or the DVD drive. As you can see, I put the DVD drive screw back as it's only one screw, so I remember where the screw is and what is it for. Next, we have to remove the fan. There's two screws holding the fan down. And we're going to remove the fan cable as well, connecting to the motherboard.
I also put fan screw back so I remember where it is. Next, we're going to try to we're going to remove the motherboard. Remember to remove all cables attached to it, which is the wireless card cable. LCD cable I'm also removing the RAM to check if there's any screws underneath it so the, the motherboard has five screws I have also removed the wireless card in case there's any screws underneath but I already know there is none it's just to show you to you guys I also put the wireless card screw back so I know where to find it later. So as I said before there's four, five screws holding the motherboard down. There's one, two, three and fourth one. There's a fifth one which is hidden under the heatsink which you will have to remove as well to access it. We're going to move all the cables attached to the motherboard. It should be the keyboard, the keyboard backlight, the speakers, and the uh, other speaker. As you can see, there's a screw behind it, but um, it's covered up by the heatsink. So we have to remove the heatsink to access the screw. There's a five. There's five screws on the heatsink. They also numbered one to five. So when you screw it back in, please, um, please, to please screw back it in order. That's the CPU, and that's the GPU, which is graphic card, and there's RAM slot at the back of the motherboard as well. And that's basically it. Remember to put your screws aside so you know where each screw goes, and try not to get the screws in the wrong place. Also remember to put all your cables back. If you turn on your laptop and something doesn't work, or your keyboard doesn't work, your backlight doesn't work clearly, it means that you forgot to plug the cable back in, which is pretty common. And thanks for watching.